All right, so this is a healthy vegan bacon and ranch pizza made with no oil, no wheat, no refined sugar, and no rice. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own. So the first step in making this pizza crust is to get our cauliflower cut and cooked. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so the first step is really simple. You're just gonna cut your cauliflower into small enough pieces to get into your steamer so that you can cook them. Okay, so now my cauliflower has been cooked. I'm waiting for it to cool, and while I do, I'm gonna make a flax egg. Now, a flax egg is a way to replace oil and eggs in cooking, and so I'm just gonna take this ground flax and add it to some water and mix it up really well. And then once I mix it, I'm just gonna set it aside and let it kind of thicken. So now I just wanna mix my seasoning in with my almond flour and get that mixed up really well before I add it to my cauliflower. Now we have our cauliflower cut and steam, and you want it to be at a consistency about like I have it here, where it just falls apart really easily, and then you know that you're ready for the next step. Now the next step is that we're gonna take this cauliflower and we're gonna drain it. We're gonna try to get all the excess water out <clears throat> so that it's nice and dry. So I'm using a nut milk bag here, but you could use a clean dish towel or even a cheesecloth will work well. It's important to get all the liquid out that you can. All right, so now I'm gonna take my strained cauliflower and add it to the bowl. Now, if you're skeptical that a cauliflower crust will taste good, so was I, but I can honestly tell you that this was the best vegan pizza I've ever had, and the cauliflower crust was a main reason why. Now it's time to combine the strained cauliflower with your flax egg and give it a mix. Now once they're combined, it's time to add your almond or oat flour and your seasonings. Then you wanna give it another mix and form it into a ball. Now, you're ready to shape the crust, but you have two options for shaping it. You can do like I'm doing here and place it between two pieces of parchment paper and use a rolling pin. Or, you can just use your hands to press it into about a quarter inch thick crust. Then it's time to get it in the oven for the initial bake before the toppings are added. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. Okay, so now I've done my initial bake on my pizza crust, and now it's time to top it. So I'm starting by adding my dill ranch sauce. Now you can see that recipe by tapping the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Then I'm adding some oil free caramelized onions. Next, my mushroom bacon. Now you'll definitely want to check that out by tapping the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen right now. And finally, I'm adding some sliced cherry tomatoes and getting it back in the oven for a final bake. Now once it comes out of the oven, the last thing to do is to drizzle some healthy vegan cheese sauce and sprinkle of oregano. Beware, this is not your average pizza. This combination of healthy vegan ingredients is next level and may be difficult to share. <laughs> you've been warned. So if you're new to my channel and you're not sure how to get the recipe, look below the video and tap on the word more. You'll see the beginning of the recipe. Then tap on the word more a second time and you'll see the full recipe and then you can begin to make your own.